Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode two of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. We're just going to kick straight back off where we left, uh, although I did realise that we have not levelled up. Six points, that's going to be quite a lot, which I must admit to open up new dialogue options. If we can intimidate, uh, we'll just try and max out both of them and give us as many options as possible. Um, we've got pistols here, which are our basic weapon. Which is the only weapon we have, really. So, another three points in there unlocks Marksman. Which is another ability. Now, we're using Overload quite a lot, and this is that one, isn't it? We'll put one in Electronics, and we'll put two in Pistol, because we are using our gun quite a lot. Uh... Ashley Williams, we are going to be kind of one with a sniper rifle, actually. I do like having a sniper in the team, someone that will stay back. So we'll put two in Assault Rifle, and Assault Training, Adrenaline Burst, Combat Armor. Oh, we can get Heavy Armor for it. Oh, in that case, yeah, we'll, we'll give her some uh, options for Heavy Armor later on in the game. And Caden Alenko. Uh, I, I saw him throw a few people, which was fucking hilarious. So I want to maximise throw and just have people being thrown off cliffs and everything. That is brilliant. Uh, barrier. Oh, cool. It's a defensive talent. That's good. Yeah, so we'll get barrier there. And first aid. May as well unlock as much as possible. Right, without further ado, uh, last week we... We're sent on a mission. Uh, we are going to be a Spectre, apparently. Um, or we are in training to be a Spectre. And as it goes, our very first training mission, uh, we killed our friend Jenkins, and we killed our friend Nihilus, who's also our teacher. So it's not going well. We'll see how many other people we can kill. Um, yeah, I mean, it's going pretty awfully, actually. And this is the guy that shot Nihilus. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. I do like the robot things. Is he a biotic? Okay. Let's kill some robots. Now I have got uh, overload and sabotage, I believe it was. That tends to explode. Um... Oh shit, I've got a timer. Oh, I do not do that. I'm already panicking. Where is. How do I get off? Uh, okay. Demolition charges. The guest wants to plan it. Okay, I don't Hurry. have to do anything. We need to find them all and shut them down. Yeah, I know. Don't pressure me. I do not do well under pressure. Don't don't put that on my Spectre performance review. Um, this is lying on a resume. I do very well under pressure. Looks like one. Okay, pistol damage is up. So we should be okay there. One more. Okay. Hey, I'm so glad I don't have to do a mini game for this because I would be flubbing it left, right, and centre. Uh, that is fine. We've got two more charges remaining. Uh, okay, we can overload them and explode. Them. They didn't explode. I think we've got that shield up in time. How do we get rid of the shield? Well, that's how you get rid of the shield. Get blew him up. No, it didn't blow him up. Come on. Oh, there's, well, there's a bomb there. Uh, you know what? Sod the enemies. You guys can get the enemies. I need bomb. Disarm. Uh, three minutes thirty. That should be fine for one more. I'm just not in some hidden place. Is that Ashley? Ashley, get out of the way. Uh, oh, I've got no... Oh, you can sabotage. Oh, good. Oh, I... Aha. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, we've got more gas over here. Ah, it's still not back. Uh, oh shit. Oof. We've got a cra- uh, I don't know why I'm looting. Uh, okay, we go down here. Uh, now I've got my overload back. You can explode. Okay. Don't like tasks. Don't like tasks. Uh, can, I, uh, can I sabotage a husk? Is he dead? Good. Bring it on. Right, where is it? Got two minutes twenty. Up over here. Nope. Oh shit, this this is where I spend like five minutes looking for it. Uh, no, I'm going to spend two minutes, ten minutes, two minutes, ten seconds looking for it, because then it'll explode and we'll all die. Oh shit, I've got time to do this. Stupid frogger. At least we're getting a lot of weapons for it. I'm not seeing it. Mm. Too many guys, it would be really good if you spread out. Please, just spread out, go looking for it if I missed it up here. Uh, da da da. I am... Um, ah! Oh, no, for fuck's sake. Yep, that's me. I'm missing something really obvious. Uh, okay, this is the last one. We're good. 1 minute 40 to easy. No problem. Never worried for a second. Okay. Protheum beacon is there. Anything else? Oh, crate. May as well get as many weapons as we can. Uh, the hammer and light armor for humans. So, oh, that's putting away my weapon. That's not the equipment. Uh, what have we got? We are on Seely Shepherd, and we want a good pistol, which is that one. Uh, now we got the best pistol and Omni Tool. We haven't got any Omni Tools yet, but armor. Uh, we've got 1284, no, it's a lot worse. Okay, so we've actually got the best armour for us. Intrigued by the Turian armour. Must mean we get Turian later on. Prothean Beacon, investigate. wonder if we'll get to do the, the floaty thing that he did. Normandy. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Oh, what are you... Get the fuck away from it. You've been on this team for five seconds. Is that me or Caden? That's me, isn't it? Shepherd! Okay. No, no touch! Too dangerous! What the hell was that? See into the future? Into the past? Or just a simple brain hemorrhage, and that's the game over. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. The Normandy. A human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. That's an interesting One character of the design. Humans may have used it. <laughs> and kiss. This human must be eliminated. I mean, she's pretty badass because just a delicate dodge to the side and. Of course, the natural assets of the female antagonist. I mean, whatever happens, I mean, she's pretty badass. 
flinging Doctor, stuff at him. Dr. Chakwas, I think he's waking up. Okay. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? So we have got. Uh, yeah, I've got no idea what How happened. How did I end here. up here? How long was I out? About fifteen hours. Fifteen Something happened hours. Something happened with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. She. I mean, you were careless. Yeah, resting bitch face. Don't look at me like that. You were careless. I expect better of my people, Williams. You endangered our entire mission. Just wandered over to it. Don't be so hard on her, Commander. We have no idea if that's what actually set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. So no one's going to know what I saw. And no one's going to believe me. Because I can't describe it. Because I don't know what it is. And no one can double check. What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I was having a nice dream. I it's saw... Fun. I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm... I better add this to my report. It may... Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Is it because I fucked up Sounds like badly. that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Uh, I'm not going to ask why Williams is here. She should be here. She kind of replaces Jenkins in a really bad way. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. I don't want to select these just in case it does have like a, a friendship rating in this and I don't really want to have him pissed off at me or other people pissed off at me. So uh, I'm pissed Intel off at the Intel the ball, yes. sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You wanted to talk. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I mean, I can understand. We haven't got anything to hide. Um, Jenkins just kind of ran out, but... I should be in charge of him, so I guess I kind of am at fault. Um, Nihilus, he wanted to go off alone. And that's kind of the, the downside. No one's watching your back. Um, we've got nothing I didn't high. do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a spectre, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Well, he's gonna hate me even more. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Gith. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Absolutely nothing in that vision whatsoever. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I mean, I think that that's pretty generous choices, actually, because I didn't get any of that from it. Um... I guess it's just like a big red sign saying it's like a warning. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. I mean, there is nothing to report. There's just... 
I had a dream, and you should follow my dream. That's what are not we really going to tell him? I had a yeah, bad dream. Basically. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology, blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Sarah took it. But I know Sarah. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. It was on Eden Prime, wasn't it? So uh, Nihilus said that was a, a beacon for our world, or something along those lines. So I'm guessing it is human-owned, human-run, and I guess if he's invaded that, yeah, we are pretty much at war with him, so... Not if I can help it. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a spectre. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the council on our side. We expose him, they can't help us. They can help us. We yes. prove Saren's gone rogue, and the council will revoke his spectre status. I'll contact the ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. We're going to see the council now. Cool. Get to wander around my ship again. Well, not my ship, his ship. Very much his ship. But as the protagonist, I am claiming ownership. So. Replenish Medigel. Hey, Commander. Ashley. We need to talk about your insubordination. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Okay, it's fair enough. You're, yeah, you are a soldier as well, so you, even though you've never met him. I'm assuming. Yeah, she, she wasn't on the ship before. So. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. There's no reason to feel guilty over it. It happened before we knew you were there. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. How are you? Things are pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. Yeah, you very much Couldn't have done it without ass. you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I should go. Uh, no, I'm glad to have her. I think you're going to fit in here just fine, Williams. She has all Thanks, the guns, Commander. so we kind of need her. Uh, Doctor. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? A personal How question. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe, too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. No, I imagine it's gruesome humanity bits. needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Yeah, do you regret it? Ever at all? think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth, or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. No, fair play. That's... What do you know about Captain Anderson? I like her. I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. Caden. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Impressive. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. No idea what an L2 is. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenka was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Okay, so the mage-like powers, the biotics of lifting and throwing people, 
they need an actual implant in to actually do them. You don't just get magic. And there's prob. Okay, yeah. What so kind of complications? Work the bugs Severe out and then it comes out through. Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Okay, is that going to change? He gets migraines now, but it could develop into insanity. Crippling physical... Holy shit. I should go. Yeah, I should go. Where is he? Dude, do you need a hug? Glad to see you're okay, Commander. You don't want to chat? Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Okay. You get headaches? Tell me. I've got some paracetamol for you. Oh man, I feel really bad for him now. That... What are you doing? What are you doing? You're fine. Okay, so he gets headaches. Migraines. Which are fucking worse than headaches. Uh, what have we got around here? Mr. Anderson. Go speak to Joker when you're oh. ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. Is that a bed? Oh shit, am I in your bedroom? Yeah. Sorry, man. You do whatever you need to do on that computer. Uh, Shepard's locker. I have a locker? Oh! Oh, well, I wish I knew that stuff was in there. Yes, Commander. Oh, sorry, no. Is there something I should go. Yeah. Goodbye, Commander. <laughs> I should go. Uh, Ashley. Okay, what have we got? Uh, stairs. We'll take the lift. See what it... Oh, we're going down. Okay. I don't think we've been down here. Uh, in the Normandy's vehicle bay, using a squad member's locker allows you to assign equipment to them. New equipment may be purchased from the requisition officer. Alliance requisition officer. Hey, Hello. Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? Yeah. What have you got? Hell yeah. Whatever you want. Should have some money. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Paying for Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? Surely the Alliance gives my it stuff to me. Doesn't I work come from the Alliance. Oh, I have okay. to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. Do we have our own black With market no licenses, dealer? No goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of products. I already have several basic ones. But you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring uh, okay. in different brands. So he's not black market. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. What, what do the manufacturers? different manufacturers offer? There are too many for me to keep track of, but each license will okay. explain what it's good for. Uh, let's let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. What do we got? Uh, that is 25,000. How many do we have? We've got 1,280. A little bit less, a little bit less. 8,000, 7,000, 6,000. Oh, God. A Medigel upgrade. Maximum units of Medigel by one. Oh, that's the healing stuff. So, yeah, we'll get that. Uh, grenade upgrade. Maximum number of grenades by one. They're affordable. These are so not affordable. Okay. Scorpion 4. Heavy armor. So, we, we can't use that anyway. Okay. Well, thank you, sir. Um, I am intrigued by the tank. Oh. Inspect. Codex 12. Okay. Uh, that is awesome. Six wheel. Massive. Barrel of a gun. I mean, I hope I get to ride it. Hope I'm on the turret. Uh, okay, we've got... The different lockers. I'm not going to do them now because you can equip during a mission and we tend to pick stuff up. Uh, oh, shit. This is a big place. Engineer Adams. Hello, sir. What the fuck is this? Oh, Element Zero Core. Codex. Field Integrity Mod. mod oh, okay. I think it's just picking up a bit of XP, a bit of codex. 
Shame about Jenkins, Commander. Oh, I suppose this is actually the first time we've kind of come back and Jenkins isn't there. Yeah, I guess he's got some friends on board. They're going to be a little bit down. Probably shouldn't be wandering up trying to talk to them. But we will carry on. My one critique. How can a ship go faster than light and the elevator be slow as balls? That needs to speed up. Uh, we are... Door control. We... Navigator. Oh yes, we're back here. This is where we started. I'm glad you're ah. okay, Commander. Come on, Shepard. Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Yeah. Sorry, man. We got FTL comlink. There's a little round table discussion area. Let's see if I can do some sleuthing. Eight seats. Does that mean me and seven companions? Uh, nav manual. Okay, it seems like we're just picking up bits of information. The codex was the description bit. Uh, the thing that sort of they read out. The galaxy map. Only the commanding officer may... Oh, yeah, okay, I'm not in charge. That's, that's Anderson. Um, yeah, I can't just tell the ship to go places. That's fair. Uh, Joker. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. The Citadel would be our base. Oh, they Citadels. Because we arrived on them one day. They shot us out like a railgun. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. That's the Normandy that just monster. there. That its was main gun could monstrous. Its the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Granted, you may begin your approach, transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower, Normandy Hill. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. Beautiful scale. And whoa. This is an outrage. The council would Trees. step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well oh, aware the of the that? risks when you went into the traverse. What about Sarah? You can't just say, ignore you know a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of a council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. There's a Turian. Captain There's Anderson, a, a I see you brought half sort of your crew with you. Weird Cthulhu tentacle Just the ground team thing. from Eden Prime. Not to be offensive. In case you had any questions. And there was somebody with a hood I up. I have the different. mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. He is dangerous. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. But other than then that, we Jenkins was also killed. The CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. 
Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Okay. We can talk. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Whoa! What? Hmm. Well, they've built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. What? What the hell's wrong with you? You can't tell the aliens from the animals. I'm... Okay. This place is a little too perfect. They're hiding something. Oh, you're not a conspiracy theorist, are you? I can't tell the aliens from the animals. I'm going to ignore you. Caden, hit me with some positivity. Big place. Great. Sure is peaceful here. Okay. Big place. Boring, but at least not controversial. Right. Ashley, you have issues, girl. Uh, begin manual override. Let's play Frogger. Mm. Ah. Mm. No, I'm failing. I suck at Frogger. There we go. Uh, Alliance Patrol Report. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Ro, Ro cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do you want? Do we want to send in a recon team? Uh, updated my journal. Journal. While on the Citadel, you uncovered an Alliance patrol report. One of the patrols mentioned some strange activity in the Hydra system of the Argos Ro cluster. Uh, okay, cool. So we actually picked up a little mission, an assignment. And the, oh, uh, okay, we did the prologue and Citadel exposed Saren. Go to the tower. Go to the Citadel tower in the Presiduum for an audience with the council. So we have missions and assignments. Assignments are little things we pick up along the way. And missions are the main story, I would guess. Hopefully. Um, I mean, I'm hoping that we can uh, do the... Uh, I'm hoping that we can do the uh, side missions and sort of explore different places. Uh, well, the arrow's pointing down, so... We go. Whoa! You're a big boy! Damn! Look at the size of that! You stand up, you're a Dark Souls boss. What the hell? Hello there, human. Hello. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. That's quite okay. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong, and it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Okay. The Asari consort. Asari being another race? What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say... She has compromised my authority as a diplomat. You look terrifying, but you sound adorable. Where can I find the Sasari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll go across there. Uh, you are cute, and again, you're another one of the terrifying people. Uh, Kalin? Kalin? Pleased greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Are they saying their emotion? Because the guy before said, Alarmed response. Oh, uh, your speech. Why do you explain what you're about to say? Yeah, yeah. Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, 
We discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kaelin? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. Okay, uh, El Elcor. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. <laughs> I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Oh, I love it. Tell me about the history Genuine and origins of the Genuine enthusiasm. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly, within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. Uh, culture? I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Let's go low and slow, just taking it easy. Uh, Ambassador. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. <laughs> your tone is inappropriate, Dan. <laughs> Chastising rebuke. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. I wonder if they can lie. I wonder if, if it's just like... With barely contained rage, I'm not going to hit you. Or if it's actually just going to be... No, they have to say it as part of their emotions, part of their sort of thing. It's, Goodbye, Ambassador. That's weird. I hope we see more of them. Okay, well, you're another one. Thank you. I will. You are all really sweet, except for that little tubby guy. You can go to hell. How about you? Hello. No? You're ignoring me? Just typing away with your little lunchbox on your back. Okay, fine. Hopefully we'll see one more of you that actually wants to talk. Uh, okay, we've got... Uh, that's where we were. Maybe down this way? Okay. Hello, Embassy Receptionist. Good day, Commander. Wow. The human ambassadors up the stairs, first room on the right. That is a bright blue. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. I've got to say, the aliens in this so far, they are so different. What is this place? And we've just been this thrusted into it, which is great. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Savina. You can actually see the bits of a, a sort of scales, if you will, What's on that? the skin. Oh, Avina is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. Okay. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassy. Sephiria? You seem nice to be name. distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. Yeah, to be fair, she's in I the middle of her shift. Now. Have a pleasant day. I have leveled up from chatting to Sephiria. Uh, okay, Avina. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. You are Cortana. So are you a person or a program? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. 
On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of the interstellar importance. far end importance. of this level. So if I walk all the way that way, that's where I kind of need to be for the mission. Uh, CSEC, they were the police. I want to know more they? about Citadel Security. Citadel Security, Citadel that's Security it. serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. Cool. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Yeah, I wonder if it's like a, a series of job things like we can join or something. That's, that's cool. Every race comes together to make like a unified police force. That's, that's really cool. Uh, Tell me about the embassies. embassies yeah. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. If the Volus important were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. 19? That's nothing! And we're already being chosen, sort of thought about for being a spectre. 19 years is nothing in history. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Because we're new? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted yeah. an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. What do you think, do you agree with computer decision? lady? I am not programmed to make yeah. that kind of qualified judgement. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Uh, yeah, why were the Volus How come the first? Volus were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition yeah. of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. They made money. They were the ones that actually organized us all to have the same currency. Yeah, they... only an embassy? Why weren't they made a council race? Surely. The council races have extensive responsibilities. They must provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleets. They often provide economic aid in times of disaster. The voters must have money. It would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the Citadel. Lesser species? Really? Earlier on it was uh, species that were important enough, and now it's lesser species. So there does seem to be a, a, a class difference. There's a... Some have held That's much higher than Eric. others. <laughs> yeah. I apologize if my personality has offended you. Please submit all formal <laughs> complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye, and I will thank meet you with for human using resources. Avina. Please enjoy your visit to I the Citadel. I will get you patched. So, uh, to CSEC, to CSEC Academy, to Citadel Tower. Uh, oh, we did level up, so let's let's go through here. I've got Charm and Intimidate up. Uh, pistols. Yeah, we'll get one for Marksman, I'm not sure what that does. Boosts, accuracy, duration 6 seconds. Okay, so for 6 seconds it's going to give me rain health on everyone else. Uh, I kind of want to unlock basic armour. If that's a thing I can do. What do I want? Hacking. We are facing robots, so hacking is, will be kind of cool. Uh, that's quite far. We'll get that later. Um, let's just put things in everything. Just up ourselves, make ourselves a little bit better. Let's get first aid. So we can medigel people. 
Mr. Caden Elenko, we are. You can throw everything. I will make you throw absolutely everything. Uh, give you some decryption as well. Increases the amount of Omni Gel recovered. Cool, so we can find extra Omni Gel with it. Uh, assault rifles. Let's just make you a kick-ass girl. That's going to be assault training, which gives us adrenaline burst, which recharges all talents so they can be used immediately. Does she have any? I mean, she has first aid. So I guess she can use first aid, then use that adrenaline, and then use first aid again. It's like an action search. D and D fighter. Okay. Um. Let's go for a walk. This place is stunning. The water. Huge, huge scope here. This is... Huge. This is... Oh, big statue. Ah, no, don't want the gun out. For God's sake. Uh, yeah, let's go for a wander. So. Uh, do we have a map? We do have a map. Can I zoom out of map? <laughs> no, can't zoom out more than that. Okay. Uh, so I am... Oh, wow, all of that that I've just seen is this area here. We've got the consort chambers. An emporium, that's a shop. And a bank, we could do with some extra money. A Vino there. Stretches out over here. Citadel Tower. And towards access. Towards? Towards. Okay. Um, yeah, let's keep going. Uh, see if we can see some of the other races. So we've got Turian there. We have the Blue Lady. And that's the guy in the hood, the counsellor. That's really cool. Kind of, uh, kind of lizardy vibe, but like a. That's really cool. Got another one there. I'm loving how varied it is. We've got another one of these aliens as well. Uh, got his lunchbox there. Still can't talk to him. I think he just clicked at me to make me go away. Um. might actually just go straight to the uh, tower. See if we can move things along. Oh, Keeper! You can talk to him. Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Please do not disturb the Keepers. What? Why? Please do not disturb the Keepers. Why? Welcome to Presidium Tourism... T Behind me is the spectacular Relay Monument, a scale model representation of a Prothean mass relay. To your left is one of the Keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see Keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The Keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. Rehabilitation, okay. Um... Yeah, so... Are they sentient? I'd like to know more about the Keepers. Are they controlled? Little is known about these peaceful servants of the Citadel, though they are essential to the operation and maintenance of the entire station. Citadel regulations protect the Keepers against interference during the performance of their tasks. Failure to comply will result in harsh penalties. Keepers can be seen in all sections of the Citadel, but are typically found in and around the Tower. Okay. Any particular reason there are so many keepers in this area? The keepers do not communicate with other species. It is assumed, however, that the tower houses the Citadel's primary control systems. Many of the station systems, such as navigation and life support, function automatically. It is believed the keepers operate those systems from inside the tower's inaccessible core. The keepers also make frequent appearances in the council chamber itself though they appear to be just passing through on their way to some other destination. That's, That's all for now. a little strange. Thank you so for using Avena. No Have one knows what they're day. doing other than just fixing stuff, tapping away. Our entire life support system 
is maintained in a way that we don't understand, but it's controlled by them. So if I mock them a little bit and they just go beep, and none of us can breathe. Okay, I'm going to leave the keepers alone. Uh, that's, yeah, that's the mass relay. Sure is peaceful here. It is peaceful here, King. Hmm. Well, they built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. Why would you? You see a beautiful piece of water, and you just go, "Hey, I wonder if someone drowned in it." The council isn't going to ask any questions, are they? I doubt it. We've made our reports. No. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. We do not have to ask you any questions. I've asked you two things. What you thought of the place, nice lake, if anyone drowned in it, and what you thought of the people, and apparently they all look like animals, or is it aliens? Executor Palin, hello. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. That's Don't cool. I like the face paint. Your investigation is over, Garrus. I assume they're face paint, because they're, they're symmetrical and they're Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security. Oh, my yeah. Boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. What did you find? Across anything I should know about? Saren's a Spectre. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Hmm. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Well, you were shit then, weren't you, Garrus? Because you were doing an entire investigation into him and didn't find anything. I stumbled across him and found tons of evidence. So. This is when I find out he's like this amazing detective and he's actually done amazing work. But we will get to that later on. Anything, Ashley? Anything to say that isn't racist? I bet all these staircases aren't just for show. They make for good defensive positions if this place is ever attacked. That is very true. Get the higher ground. Very soothing. You say such basic shit, man. Big place. I like that fountain. You sure have to climb a lot of stairs to reach the council. I think that's supposed to be symbolic of their importance. What are those cherry trees? Eh, kind of like Sakura's. That's... Rapid transit, so we can bamf in and out. You are another keeper that I'm not allowed to talk to, but I am suspicious of. Rear Admiral Ka no, Koku. I'm waiting Kahoku? to speak with one of the council. Commander. Oh, Commander. Sorry, cut you off. Another keep. There is a lot of them around here. Are they all just going to turn on the council no, at some point just and just kill them? There's too many of them around here. Anderson? Where was he? Saw Captain Anderson. There he is. Okay. The hearing's already started. Come on. Let's go. Let's tell them about the fact that I had a funny dream. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. So we just made up a tour of which does exist. accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden <laughs> Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. 
The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. Yeah, I don't want to accuse the the council of not you know, of not being fair. I don't want to say they're protecting him. I don't want to just seem like this off the wall mental person. So I'll find. You for can't it. hide behind the council forever. Uh, there is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. Oh, shut up, Anderson. It may have been triggered by the beacon. I don't want to bring Are that up. Yeah, exactly. Now. How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? No. You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm okay. glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. That did not go as planned. But I wish Anderson hadn't brought up the dream. It makes me sound stupid. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. Mm. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Yeah, how do you know Tell Saren? Tell me about this history between you and Would Saren. Would have liked to have known that I before. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Ah, oh, God's Real sake. Bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. I mean, he could be useful, Any but idea where we could he find said him? he didn't really have anything I have a huge. contact in c who me. can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget okay. it. Okay. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that, loser. I'll buy him a you few drinks. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. No, Captain you can't just cut better. Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Any other Maybe leads? there's another way to find evidence against Sarah. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Balavan's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. Okay. Uh, council Our ambassador, ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the council. He's just frustrated. The council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the council. The ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Well, the thing is, though, I mean, they said we've, we've only had a, an embassy 19 years ago, which is nothing. I'm probably on the board of, no, we shouldn't get any extra stuff. We probably shouldn't have got the embassy that quick. Uh, I'm interested about the I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. Yeah, how are they chosen? How do they Is decide the who becomes a Spectre? You can't it? just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The council's always looking for exceptional individuals, people who can get the job done, like you. They've been watching you for years. Okay. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation, but with him gone, things are still up in the air. 
Okay. So they sort of promote, well, they poach people that are amazing at their job from every race. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. And if one goes too far, I mean, what's above a spectre? Do you just get the other spectres to go and hunt the what spectre? What happens when a spectre goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another spectre to bring the rogue agent down. Oh, I should go. That's... Good luck, yeah. Shepard. I'll be over in the Don't agree with the spectres, really. Else. Uh, ambassador's office, okay. Well, that was a thing. So, this is where we talk to the... What do you want? Hmm. So, this is where the council passes judgment on all us little folk, huh? Ever get the feeling we're in over our heads, Commander? Yeah, a little bit. I bet all these staircases oh, right. aren't just for show. This is it. The very heart of the Citadel. The pinnacle of galactic power your head spin if you think about it too much yeah i mean it's you know i suppose most people don't get the chance to come here that guy's up to something what guy yeah we'll go the one over by the keeper oh hmm. not enough data yet i'm not allowed to touch them you're what? not allowed to touch them oh, no i wasn't never mind Um, yes, is there something you want? Following the Keepers? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keepers. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Just, Just tell me relax. what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. You have amazing I'm eyes. Scanner to gather readings on not the chatting you up. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Uh, okay. Yeah, I see. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically, we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Let me help, because help I'm suspicious I'm not worried of the, about the keepers. authorities. I don't even know who you are. Dumb. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Okay. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. Hell yeah. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. To get paid to do a job that I wanted to do anyway. So long, and good luck with the scanning. So, if I scan, and I just got 30 credits, monies. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, yeah, where do they want us to go? Uh, that den. That drinking den we should be able to go to. Uh, oh, we've got, uh, scan the keepers on the assignments. Shadow Broker, go see Barlavon, head to the bank. Uh, that was next to the Emporium. Citadel Garrus, go to Cor... Cor... Chor... Chor's den? Chor's den in the lower wards and speak with Harkin, a CSEC agent who might know where Garrus can be found. And investigate Saren. I just need to find proof. Okay. Uh, can we transit? Uh, Presidium or wards? Presidium? Wards access embassies or wards? Oh, Chora's Den. Yep. Let's go to Chora's Den. You have arrived at Chora's Den, a gentleman's club in the wards. Well, hello. Ah, what? Assassins? There's sound coming off me already. I just want to go to the gentleman's club. Ouch, I missed. Sabotage. 
Thank you, whoever shot him. Uh, let's go. Marksman. Oh shit. Ah. Right, okay. Let's put the gun away. We just got assassinated. And... Okay. I see why this place is so popular. It's got quite the, uh... <laughs> it's nice that they actually interact with each other. A million light years from where humanity began, and we walk into a bar filled with men drooling over half naked women shaking their asses on the stage. I decided that's funny to say. What? You don't think they're here because of the food? It could have nice food in here. Okay, um, we're gonna meet somebody, sit down. Okay. The man inside of me is asking me to sit down here. The gamer inside of me, and this is the logic, is going to sit down here in case it gives me a mission. She could be an undercover cop. Okay. Just somewhat awkward in the upright position. Just relax. Okay. And sit forward. Oh, is that it? Well, there's nothing quite like a little bit of fan service. Oh, okay. What have we got? We've got uh, Jenna. Hello, Jenna. Sorry, I'll get to you when I can. That's okay. Pretty sure you're cold in that outfit, but okay. I got business here, but not with you. Okay, General Septimus. Go away. Well, you're lovely, thank you. Not now. I'm watching the show. You're watching that blue lady's ass, but okay, whatever's a show. Harkin, hello. Back off, Rex. Fizz told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. What the fuck are they? This is Fizz's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Okay. What the fuck was that? Hang on. Harkin, okay, the there was some a giant Enkylosaur guy. I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. Okay, we learned this guy's got a bit of a... Uh, was gotten rid of being drunk, so let's just get right. I'm looking for a nice. CSEC officer, a Turian named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard, still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? I really want to say not my concern, but I am curious. Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. Okay. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad, they kicked him out. out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. How do you know You said this? they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? Make a deception check. I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. Disgusting. You're a pig. Just noticed that now, did you? Ugh. That's not why I'm here to get. As soon as he says that, I don't believe him. Garris was sniffing He's around lying. Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of Dr. the Dr. Michelle. I heard he was going back there. Okay. Uh, no, I'm done with you. I'm You're a pig. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink in peace. Oh. Oh, is that one of the Enchilosaur guys? The 
back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Fist? Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. Oh, the Krogan. What did that other Krogan want? Rex? Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? No, he is not. Goodbye. Enjoy the club. I will. Okay, I mean, they are cool. I like them. Uh, let's head out. Why didn't Captain Anderson tell us he used to be a Spectre? Maybe it's not true. Harkin's an ass. Bet he's just messing with our heads. You're probably right. Still. It would be nice to hear what he has to say about it. Uh, where are we going? Let's go this way. I have to admit, I do feel like I'm getting a little lost, like I'm just pointing in a direction and heading that way. Uh, this place is huge. Keep a scan. Another 30 credits, I'll take it. I'm hoping that if we sort of scan enough, we get given almost sort of what, what they are, because I swear there's something behind them. There's, they're just a little too suspicious. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. I mean, that's fair. You know, we have just got attacked. If you're investing in places like that, then you're going to want to protect them. Aha, another keeper. I'm, I'm not going to try and go around and get them now. I might do a proper search. Um, I'll either do a separate video or, or I might even just do them off camera. Um, he always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. This is going to be pissed if we take down his supplier. That's the point. We want him angry. Angry people make mistakes. There's just something about Fist that makes me nervous. Good. He's a dangerous man. Now keep your eyes peeled for our mark. Okay. Well, that's something going on there. Um, yeah, so I might just go and collect them. Uh, if I run across them as I'm wandering around, I will scan them. But... A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Hanar. Okay. Hanar being another race? Enkindlers. I, in a way, I kind of like how they're throwing everything at you, because you don't know what everything is, and you kind of find out through association and just learn it on the go, learn it on the job, and I kind of like that as opposed to it just being a series of, um, oh, we'll scan you, a series of uh, tutorials at the beginning. Preaching hand. What the fuck is that? You're creating a public disturbance. <laughs> it's against Citadel regulations. This one is unsure why the other would not wish word of the Enkindlers to be spread. Okay. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? What the fuck is that? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? I mean, what are you is actually the question I'd like to ask. What's going on here? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Oh, for God. Really? Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. So an evangelical permit is, if you want to talk about your religion, you have to buy a permit to do so. Whether right or wrong, that's irrelevant. You have to do it. But his religion is the truth. Therefore, it doesn't count. So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? 
The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden, and preaching anywhere on the citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. What are the enkindlers? Who are the enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. Oh. They are the true creators of this one's people. They created you. The enkindlers raised the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. Wow, okay. Prothean technology is the mass relays. Okay. So they also made these. So they are gods. Or at least have the science to create life. Um. Yeah, let me see let what Let me talk do. to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful for the assistance. Please let this one know if success is achieved. Them's the rules. You should follow them, that but... Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? I just, what's the Are problem? there laws like... being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Uh, you see, if everyone has to do it, I believe they should. Whether, you know, whether that rule is right or not for people much higher up than my shepherd to, to talk about, but... Oh, you're pathetic, it's so harsh. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. <laughs> yeah. You are certainly welcome to try. It is a stubborn jelly. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? This isn't the way. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language, and gave the universe the mass relays. Like, they're pretty amazing. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Wow, okay, I've got three in each of um, Paragon and Renegade, and it's still greyed out. Okay, let's go back I'll to the other back. guy. This one will continue to... If it's easier for you... With that Hanar? Let the Hanar I talk? think you should let the Hanar preach in the Presidium. The Presidium is a place of culture and respect. It should not be filled with zealots shouting their idiocy. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every jellies. other species understands and obeys Ugh. the laws. Oh, I don't want to spend my own money on it. I'll be back. I don't care what you have to do. Just... How later can I come back? Like, can I come back much later when I've leveled up a little bit? Let's risk it. I'm not sure if that's the right thing or not, but let, let's risk uh, going over a uh, financial district. Where we want the, uh, the bank, don't we? I'll see if I can level up a little bit. Maybe put a few extra bits into Paragon and Renegade. And see if we can... Uh, Convince or, I guess, intimidate. Uh, oh, Bala Von. Oh, shit, that was lucky. Mr. Von. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepherd. Indeed I am. You were at Torfin, correct? You led the final assault against the enemy base, if memory serves. Yes, I'd rather you didn't bring up my my ruthless backstory like You've that. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I was told to talk to you. I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. Yeah. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. Okay. And I do know something about Saren. Yeah, let's make a deal. I don't really want to pay money. I hear your favor information for a favor? can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional circumstances. So I am going to give it to you for free. 
Okay. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. Oh, okay. That's Serves what happens right. when you deal with a traitor like Saren. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. Rex. Oh, the guy in the, the bar. I think I know him. His name's Rex. Yes, I believe he's the one. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. Okay. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the CSEC Academy. Uh, why is he Isn't it strange that a police that a station? would want to speak with CSEC? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Okay. No, let's Thanks just go and get him if he's in the police My station. pleasure, Commander. Can we fast travel to the police station? Oh, hang on. There was another jellyfish there. Imperium, sh um, Emporium Shopkeeper. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent Emporium. Why, thank you. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Oh, I'd like to buy something. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. And this one will never be disappointed. Non-human armors. I'm not going to look at that, because it might give me an idea about people that might join my team. And I kind of want to be surprised by it. I've got an idea that maybe they've sent me to get Rex and Garrus. But I don't want it confirmed yet. So, standard items. 70,000. I have 1,000. Let's go to the bottom of the list. Uh, oh, the license. Yeah, we'll buy the license. That's that's the, um, the guy on the ship. Yeah, you are very expensive. I am going to leave now. Uh, what have we got? Carry on walking along here. Is that a keeper? That's a keeper. Thank you. Oh, hang on, we skipped the statue. I wanted to have a look at that. I think it was a Turian. I'd be interested to see what they actually. That that's not a Turian. That's what the Inkyla saw things. Uh, Krogan. Nice. Hey, you actually have something to say. You actually talk about the things in, your, in the area. That's cool. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Oh, screw you. That's <laughs> you need to stop. going to make a Krogan statue, you might as well make it big, right? Yeah, kind of. I mean, I guess they're kind of honored. Um, or they're just scared of them and made them a statue to make them happy. That's that. Welcome to they Presidium Tourism Terminal 3. Here in the Financial District, a number of businesses offer various goods and services to their exclusive clientele. The statue you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachni Wars. The war heroes. In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the council. They were war heroes and they rebelled. Tell me more about the Krogan rebellions. In recognition of their efforts during the Rachni Wars, the Krogan were granted several new colony worlds by the council. Over the next 400 years, the Krogan species began to expand. Blessed with an extremely high birth rate, their numbers began to swell. Faced with a critical overpopulation crisis, the Krogan started a violent colonization of nearby worlds right. inhabited by other council species. 
the Krogan rebellions had begun. For a full century, the Council and its member species fought to bring the Krogan under control. With the aid of the newly discovered Turian Empire, they were ultimately successful. So, they suffered overpopulation in their planets and attacked nearby planets so that they'd have room to live. There's a lot of planets. Couldn't you have given them one or two or ten? You needed the Krogan to stop the Rack. Maybe there's not many then you needed the Turians planets. to stop the Krogan. So who's gonna stop the Turians? <laughs> I am sorry, but that question is beyond my programming parameters. The Turians are members of the Citadel Council. They are not a threat to galactic peace. That you know of. Why did the Council fight so hard to keep the statue? The Krogan were instrumental in saving the galaxy from the Rachni threat. The Council believed this historical fact should not be forgotten. That's fair. The Council also hoped that preserving the memorial would improve diplomatic relations with the Krogan and bring about a peaceful resolution to the rebellions. Unfortunately, the Krogan refused to negotiate and only surrendered after their population and homeworlds had been ravaged by the Turians. I'm not going to say serves them right, because I don't think anyone really deserves that. But if the negotiation was there, and they they attacked, I mean, they didn't ask, as far as I know. Um, they could have simply asked for more worlds. I don't really know how many unpopulated worlds there are that are livable. Um, yeah, the Rachni Wars, they were war what heroes. Were the Rachni Wars? Nearly 2200 years ago, wow. explorers seeking to expand Citadel space opened up mass relays leading to systems controlled by the Rachni. A highly intelligent and aggressive insect race, the Rachni unleashed a war of conquest against the rest of the galaxy that lasted for nearly three centuries. Holy shit. The emergence of the Krogan finally turned the tide in favor of the Citadel species. Krogan forces provided the numbers necessary to halt the Rachni advance and drive them back. Well, their high birth rates. The Krogan in a then pursued long their war. retreating fleets. Able to survive the harsh environments of the Rachni homeworlds, the Krogan hunted their enemy to extinction. I'm not going to say that's extreme because. Like, if the Rachni attacked and tried to. Uh, was it a campaign of conquest or something? Then, yeah, you gotta kill him. Okay, so. Now. Thank you for using Avena. Have so, a Krogan day. are tough. And they're war heroes. But they don't negotiate and are angry. Okay, don't think that's fair. Uh, okay, we're going along here. Uh, so we've got to go to that Dr. Michelle's place, wherever that is. Hello. Keep a scan. Where are we going here? Nel Neliana? Nel Nel Welcome, I am Nelly. Nelina. Nelina, thank you. I don't you. recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? White lipstick. Definitely something that suits blue skin. Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Yeah, all right. I mean, Commander Shepard, with a, the Alliance Navy. A booking. Excellent. You should hear something in um, three or four months. What? <laughs> three to four months. Yeah, I don't know how time passes in this game, but sod What that. do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of the Consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the Consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. I don't want to be rude, but is this a brothel? What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. Right. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body. 
and relieve it. Am I flirting with her? Um. Why not? I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. Oh right, yeah. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in mm, three to four months. Three or four months. Okay, yeah. We'll sod that. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people, and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. Mystical. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Okay. I think I'm done well, here. Me... Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Three to four months. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Thank you. Yes, of course, mistress. Three to four months becomes two minutes. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. No, I'm going to play hard to get. If you're going to make me wait three to four months. If I have time, I'll speak with her. If I have time. Well, don't wait too long. I wouldn't want you to miss this opportunity. Yeah, I'll think about She'll it. She'll be waiting upstairs if you choose to go. Might go and see her. <laughs> what are you rubbing your head for, Caden? Sure is peaceful here. Yeah. Oh. oh. Quite Ashley, you have problems. I'll be really interested to see if that continues. Of just, there's a fire. I wonder if anyone's burned in it before. Oh, they're not You're all the, the, the blue people. My brother's a private back on Earth. Hello? Uh, okay, let's head upstairs. Why do you have the spaceship from the Jetsons here? Like a little bubble sofa. Okay. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. You checking I don't like up on people me? People spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients, but that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Okay. What is it? Tell me about this problem you're having. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Cora's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. Put your hands off me, woman. Strangely, for somebody that, I mean... It's what I've understood so far. It's a uh, sexually orientated place. She's not got any makeup on. And yet the woman downstairs is caked with white lipstick and face paint. It seems a little strange. She, she almost seemed plain. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. Okay. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to a sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince Whoa. him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. You're bumping and grinding on me, woman. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Okay, you called me up here, you grinded on me I yeah now I'll leave should I leave a tip okay um so we've got to see the general I see even the humans find the consort irresistible but she invited me here ah oh, power playing bitch right okay uh we can fast travel places so where do we want to meet? Uh, C-Sec. 
was the place where the Krogan was. And Dr. Michelle... Uh, Dr. Medical. Um... Yeah, I mean, we'll just do the med clinic first. Uh, to get Garrus. I think. It's Gar Garrus. Garrus. Okay, scan the keeper. Right. View of Nebula. Huh. Caden? Too many lights, too much noise. Oh my god, you are so dull and complaining. Not really my kind of place, but there sure are some spectacular views here. It's absolutely beautiful, but no, I don't like it. Ashley, what race has upset you this time? You think it's expensive to live here? You can keep the Presidium. This is where the action is. Okay, you're actually... that's fine. A little bit of personality showing there. I'm okay with that. Uh, okay. Medclinic. Welcome to the war. Emily Wong. Scenic view. Observe. Go to that first. Oh, okay. I mean, it shows us how far it becomes. I mean, I'm guessing they're buildings. So actually, the, the whole scape, it's a, a massive city. Big place. Is that your professional opinion, sir? This isn't a station. It's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? We have to work to measure up. Melting pot is inadequate. Yeah, but the council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. <laughs> What's not to like? Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. If you expect to get me in a tinfoil miniskirt and thigh-high boots, I want dinner first. Sir. That will be enough, Chief. At ease, Lieutenant. Can't see her in a skirt anyway. Damn straight you can't. Ready to move out, sir. I'm sorry, Ashley. What was that? Little hesitation with the damn straight you can't. Is somebody a badass marine but secretly wants to be a bit of a girly girl? Which is completely fine. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. I am talking to Ashley, the so far kind of racist person. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? Yeah, investigative journalism is dangerous. What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Mm. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of You've people here. You've got to have just, access to better sources. Come here. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. I read about the Siege of Torfin, sending your men to their deaths, shooting slavers as they tried to surrender. I need someone who isn't afraid to get their hands dirty. Someone who Whoa. will do what needs to be done. That's you. Dude, chill! You can't just bring up something PTSD-inducing like that. Hey, you know, I thought you'd help my journalism career because, you know, you killed your men. What the hell? How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. Uh, we'll see. No promises. But if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Uh, Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. I'm not sure about that, because... Yeah, that's a little... sketch. Uh, oh, to the med clinic in CSEC. The med clinic is where we need to go. I think we might have missed it. Downstairs? C sec. 
to the Med Clinic and CSEC. CSEC. Is it? Oh, Med Clinic. Okay. Oh, went straight past it. This place is huge. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Oh, Let shit. her go. Garrus? Hostile spotted. Oh, shit. Okay, uh... Ah, get in the cover, you moron. Thug. I overload the thug. Mm -hmm. Shoot the explosive things. Uh, I think we're good. Anyone else? Perimeter clear. Cool. Garrus, I assume. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. I mean, he took it without considering it. It's... I kind of, you know, if he's a sharpshooter. No problem. Glad I could help. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Uh, yeah, who were those men? Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Quarian? Does this have anything to Name do with the bell. investigation? There's too much lore in one go. I think it might. Dr. Michelle, tell us what happened. A few days ago, a quarian came by my office. It's a race, okay. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Uh, yeah, where'd she go? Where is she now? Find her. I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Oh, cool. Not okay. anymore. Now he works for Saren. Oh, okay. The Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Feast betrayed the Shadow Broker? Uh... That's stupid, even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. Evidence? She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be right, able to lead okay. Saren to the Geth. There is no way the council can ignore this. This has Time a... we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Done. Welcome aboard. No yours. question about it. You know we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. I mean, we could use him. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. Oh, you're a police officer. If you hurry, you can catch him at the academy before he leaves. Move out. Oh, okay. We get to select our team. Um, okay, it's a little bit spoilery there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got we got Rex there. That That's a Krogan we're about to get him. And then a... A th two human-like people, and maybe that's the uh, the people in the hood on the right there. Sort of the uh, the other council member. And then another human, or maybe a blue person. I'm guessing the process of elimination there, Asari. The Asari woman that uh, keeps on getting referenced. Um, okay, well, we'll bring Ashley, because I do like having a bit of muscle. Uh, I'm noticing that there's uh, little bars across their head. Red is combat, blue is tech, and purple is biotic. So Ashley is all combat. So if I remove her, just me, I am all tech it seems. So I'm an engineer, I'm a nerd, I'm all tech, so all combat. And then we want biotics. Yeah, I'm sorry, Garrus. Uh, you kind of no room at the inn. Um, 
Okay, we'll try it without biotic and just have tech and combat. I'm not sure how that's exactly going to go. I think we might need biotics, but I kind of want to know what Gareth does, what he's like. Yeah, okay, so we've not got any biotics. Hopefully that's okay. Um, replenish Medigel. Thank you. We'll take some free drugs from the clinic. Uh, can we level him up? We can. Ten points. Okay. Uh, assault rifles all the way up. We don't have a sniper yet. We'll put a leveling sniper. I'll have him on assault rifles, but we'll keep the sniper there. Uh, decryption I want. And um, okay, no, not that much. I don't want to do that much just yet. So we'll have that much. Then decryption to unlock damping. We'll unlock that ability. And then two points in tactical armor. We'll spread it around a little bit. And the rest of us are fine. Okay, so we've got our first uh, alien companion. Uh, one Garrus Vakarian. Cool, yeah. Uh, actually, what, what does he have to say? If you feel lucky, we should visit the casino over in Flux. Really? In the middle of an investigation, you're just like, hey, we should go to the casino. Anything you want, you can find for sale in the wards, legal or otherwise. Okay, you're a little bit sketchy then, I'd say. Maybe. Uh, where are we going now? It was Cora's Den. Believe. Don't know exactly where we're going here. Have we got that one? We have got that one. We were at Cora's Den before, so I think this was the place we went if we've got that keeper. What are you heavily breathing for? Get running. You're a soldier, your cardio should be off the charts. Oh, no, hang on, it wasn't Cora's Den, was it? It was, uh, police station. Wards? Not that one. Presidium. Okay, that's a lot of places. Uh... I don't think it's that. The wards. I think I remember seeing um, stairs down saying to CSEC. So we'll go there. Apologies if this is a completely inefficient way of going around. This is uh, a massive place. I'm still trying to get my bearings of it. Uh, it's, it's so much bigger than I thought it would be. Um, honestly, I thought this was going to be shooting. <laughs> like a whole load of shooting with some decisions. Um... But there's an awful, awful lot of stuff here. Ah, keeper. And a public extranet terminal. And an officer Lang. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? Maybe. Orphan was a case study during my training. I can't believe you took out the whole base. Amazing. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry. I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang. Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the okay. wards? Okay, Mr. Eddie you Lang, with? you studied my slaughter of my own teammates as a case study at, what, university? Uh, Why'd you join sec. Citadel Security? Just chat to him, I guess. I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens, like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. Okay, I mean, you're just, no offense, you're kind of a fan. I have to go. Yeah, I've got kind of important now. Don't you mean to draw your gun on you. Commander. It's cute that you're a fan, but I have a Krogan to get, which seems a little bit more important right now. Guess. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. 
the Krogan Group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. What? There's some Krogan that are genetically sterile. Okay, we're going to need to... F what? Okay, Rex, hi. That's huge to drop. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. It's the police, Mr. You Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. <laughs> okay, I like him. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? Oh, uh, with this sort of thing, do you do you assert dominance? Is this is this a dog? Is this uh Ashley, are they animals or aliens? Fist is mine. I'm going after Fist. I don't want you getting in my way. Huh. Now I recognize you. Commander Shepard from the Alliance. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Okay. I like that saying. I think we're going to get along just fine, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Okay, if we've got a Krogan, we've got a Krogan. I mean, they are they are huge. Look at the size of him. Uh, he is biotic. He's got magic. Oh fuck yeah! I have to see this. Uh, yeah, Ashley. Erdnot Rex. Erd. Yeah, Erdnot Rex. Um, yeah, Erdnot Rex, Ashley, and me. I've got I've got all the tech. Uh, we've got combat coming through out of our ears. A little bit of biotic. More than if we had Garrus. Sorry, Mr. Garrus, but... God, look at the size of him! Every time I visit the Citadel, c -Sec brings me here for a friendly chat. Well, when you're with me, sir, they will not bother you at all. I promise you, I will shoot them in the face first. Uh, now, where do we have to go? Is it Kor's Den? Chor's Den? I can never remember which one it is. Fist, a crime lord hiding out at a bar called Chorakora Den in the lower wards, is meeting with a quarian who has proof Saren is working with the guests. Get so. Let's go to the den. Okay. So we had assassins last time we came here. Uh, oh, actually, I should. Yeah, I just realised. Probably level him up. Uh, okay, I want him with a shotgun. That's just natural. Uh, combat armour is going to give him... It unlocks fitness. Oh, which is just a massive increase in health. Wow. Warp. Projects a powerful mass effect field that wrecks havoc on a subatomic level. I guess that's his magic. And he can learn throw. And Krogan Battlemaster. Rex is one of the last true Krogan Battlemasters, as they are a dying breed for which the rest of the galaxy is grateful. Well, I want to max that out, definitely. Uh, assault Rifle, let's take that up, and it unlocks Shotgun. We can put two points in Shotgun, because I want him on Shotguns. I don't have one of them. I, I want Throw. I really like seeing people just get lobbed across the battlefield, so... Uh, I've got Krogan Battlemaster for three. I want him strong. I want him beefy. Uh, equipment. I guess I should probably motorize joints, whatever that was. Uh, let's get the rest pistol for me, which I've got. Uh, light armor human. Gladiator 2 is much worse. That's fine. We've looked at that before. So, um, we want you to have the best... Assault rifle. 
so Avenger, yep, that's fine. And have you got the best armor? Yes, you have. Equipment. Uh, 135, 2, I mean, let's, let's give you a Banshee. Let's, let's see what that does. A shotgun. There's a little bit more. Let's give you something different there. Okay, and we don't have any Krogan armor. Interesting. Might be difficult to get. Oh. We're in a place I don't recognize. Moreland. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies. I yes? would like many good supplies, please. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. We'll view the non-human armors. Heavy armor Krogan. There we go. Oh, that's so far out of my league. Uh, 7,500. Liberator 2. 2,000. Double my money. Uh, a Quarian. Well, there's the spoiler. Um, you know what? If we're going to get a Quarian, let's give them a gift. I assume it's the female that we're going to find. Wow, you are very close to that alien there. Krogan's no idea about personal space. Um, I think we went the wrong way. So we'll go back this way. And that's Coruscant, yeah. Kind of looks like one of the blue people there. Which are kind of... <laughs> Got to go with the branding. That mini-map has a lot of red marks on it. As Coruscant... Ah. Oh. Okay, go on then. Let's fight our way through. Let's fight some strippers and some dancers and whatever the hell this place has. Okay, where are they all? Where are they all? Uh, we can overload you. Explode you. Get the hell back. Oh, shit. I want to stay away from that. Uh, we can sabotage you can we? Yes, we can. In an ideal world, I would be eliminating all of them and then have everyone on the Krogan. I've realised I'm very low on health. Let's get back to our heal. Uh, why Metagel? There we go. Oh, we got him. Krogan down. Pretty sure they actually did all the work when I was hidden, but that'll do. Ashley, get out of my area. Uh, Marksman. I am trapped. I probably just wasted that ability. There we go. Easy as pie. Area secured. Damn straight it is. Door control. Stop no. right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. We've unlocked both. Okay. Um. Save yourselves. If, if they're hardened, if they've been paid enough, that's not going to work. We need to try and intimidate them for this. I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Uh. Well, uh. uh screw Fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. Exactly. The fact you just itched your face with your gun as well. Quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Yeah, Rex. Shooting people is not always the answer because sometimes you can get information from them, then you kill them. Ah. Oh God, I hate frog. There we go. An edge two and a scimitar two. Just before we go into the fight, let's see if any of them is any good. That is a lot of extra damage. Bit of accuracy, that's cool. I'll go with that. Oh, wait, that's a shotgun. Damn. Okay, in that case, uh, I'll actually go for a worse shotgun, because I'm not using them. And I will give him the shotgun. Because I would like... There we go, I haven't done this yet. Maybe they've had the wrong guns. 
Yeah, cool. Yeah, if you can use the shotgun then, you can have a good one. You're a beefy guy, you need a shotgun. So. Haha, let's, let's overload. Defensive Oh shit, not turrets. Ah. Oh shit. Okay. Did not expect Wait, the turrets. Don't kill me, oh, I one of them killed him. <laughs> okay. Ooh, the death glare. Start talking. Tell That's me intimidating. Where the is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. Oh shit. Okay. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Rex, we wait, need information. Wait, I don't We're not know where the him. is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting oh, for her. Oh, asshole. Um, yeah, you son of Tell a bitch. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Oh! What? Drop the gun, Krogan. The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. <laughs> You know what? He said that he was going to kill him. He's never lied about that. He had a job. And he's not my man. He's he's not under my control. He's not. It doesn't work for me. We just teamed up for this. So... No, he's not. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that quarry. At no point did I say, you know, he's under my control. So, optical storage disk. Wall safe. Ah, frogger. Ah, there we go. Combat sensor and heat sink. A lot of traffic here. How fast do you think those cars are going? Quarian lost. Oh shit, we've got a. Oh, you moron. I'm there just casually looting. The fucking time limit, and I do not do well with time limits. Okay, what have we got? Uh, oh, fuck, take these guys are back. Come on, sabotage. Aha! Uh, marksman. Uh, you can warp that one as well if you like. Marksman is pretty good. See? Ah! Shit, shit, shit. Where is he? Okay, he's dead. We're good, we are good, we are good. I have no idea where I'm going. Um, uh, we've got to the lower markets, no? So this is the only way to go? This is the way we came from though, this goes to C-Sec, doesn't it? Was that them? Oh, thank God. Did you bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's he? Oh, no creep. Way. Come on. The deal's off. How can you have that cool face paint and be such a creep? Oh, damn. Nice. The overload. Shoot, who else is there? Who else is there? Assassin. Uh, sabotage. Fucking creepy ass Turian. I would be happy to kill you. Marksman. There we go. Ass. Just hold. set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Uh. Yeah, I took Don't care of him. Don't Fist. worry about it. He got what was coming to him. Then I guess there are two things I need to thank you for. Who are you? Um, I'm with the Alliance. We're gonna go straight away. I'm your friend. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. The Ambassador's office. It's safe there. 
she... I want to see this anyway. Is that kind of where the Geth thing came from? Because the Quarians made the Geth. Then the Geth turned on the Quarians, and she's got that little light easy, at the front, and the Geth had the light. Fights in the wards and all out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Just shut up. Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, <laughs> Shepard? Shut up, and I will tell you. This Quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. I thank this you. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians Tali. here. Why did you Tali leave Zora. the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Pilgrimage? I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Okay. I love the pattern on her hood. It's kind of like a Damascus steel kind of layered thing. What kinds it's of things nice. do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology. Or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Oh, please continue. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. Okay. So How did you manage fake? to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, right. and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. So they be Most the of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Is it good? Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. Conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Yeah, what the hell is the conduit? He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. You did say a weapon of mass destruction, so... Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. is a weapon alone. that can be used against people. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. Okay. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. What the hell's are a they Reaper? some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. So they're Geth gods. The robots have gods. And they are machines. I mean, it's not far-fetched, it's... The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. Do we? I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth That's revere a jump. the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. Okay. The Council is just going to love this. I mean, will they believe it? This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. You got grenades on you. That's definitely sure. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. 
You could be useful. You're not ready yet. I just join us. I'll take That's all the fine. help I can get. Cool. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I were well, going uh, to get things ready. I have actually got an outfit for you, rather creepily. To yourself, then meet us in the tower. Uh, let's have her. All blue. Uh, that's all tech as well. <laughs> um, let's have some Ashley as well. Um, Rex, you've been dumped. You've been benched for killing a guy when I was talking to him. Uh, Garrus, you've been benched because you're not Rex. Uh, okay, Tally and Ashley. The badass girl squad. Let's go. Uh, do some leveling up here. And... Oh, I leveled up. Fantastic. Can't put any more on Charm or Intimidate, which is not going to help the Hanar thing, but if we go up here... Okay, I'll save that for next time, because I want to unlock hacking. I think if we're fighting those robots, then AI hacking is going to be great. So instead, I will get Advanced Overload, because that is just killing people left, right, and centre. Uh, for Ashley... We're going to go up two, and then put two in sniper rifles. And for you, what have you got? you got shotguns. Well, that's great. You can be my shotgunner, then. All tech, and you get shotguns. Damn. If you're an engineer, where's my hacking? Oh, where, where's my shotguns? I've got hacking. Where's my shotguns? Let's have some electronics and some decryption. There's overload and sabotage. We can tr double up on uh, certain bits. Okay. Well, I think that pretty much runs us. We've done a about a two-hour, ten-minute video here. Uh, I'm still not sure whether which one's better, whether to do one-hour videos or two-hour videos. Um, so we'll try this for now. I must admit, I only noticed that we were at about one and a half hours when it was too late. I uh, didn't notice an hour was coming up. I didn't notice an hour went straight past. So, um, a little bit wrapped up in this story now. We've now got uh, new teammates. One Talizora Narea. So much empty space. A thousand of my people could live here and hardly even see each other. Yes. They built a lake on a space station. I can't even imagine the resources needed to maintain it. I mean, you built AI. I'm... I'm assuming you know, if you built the Geth, you know how to have a lake on a space station, I'm hoping. But anyway, we will investigate uh, Tally, uh, Rex, and Garrus on uh, next next time. Uh, yes, and thank you very much for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Take care.